For the first time in three months since the unsolved murder of a council member from Sayreville, New Jersey, we are hearing from the victim's young daughter, Nicole Taliano, where she was happened to be. She just happened to be there. What she heard about, we're hearing that from her too. And the pain she is still enduring. Mike Marza here now with a young daughter's pain that she'll never forget, Michael. No doubt about that, Bill. She is incredibly brave just months after hearing her mother gun down this heartbroken daughter now sharing her mother's final moments, hoping somebody out there knows something to try to help catch the killer. For the first time, we're hearing from the daughter of Eunice Jumfor, the Sayreville councilwoman killed February 1st. The 11 year old was in her room in the townhouse of the Sayreville apartment complex when she heard what she thought were fireworks. And then we heard gunshots and we started calling the police. Her daughter describing what happened in her mom's final moments. We were waiting for my mom to look for a parking space and then she was taking a lot of time, so we started calling her over and over again, but it wouldn't pick up. Detectives found June 4 slumped over in her SUV. They think it rolled about 100 feet after she was shot, but who shot her and why? remains a mystery. People are upset, people are anxious, and they're frustrated, and they'd like to see the investigation concluded as soon as possible. Um, we're frustrated as well, but we are confident that our law enforcement partners will identify a suspect and bring justice for Eunice and for the community. The councilwoman grew up in Newark and had just married a pastor from Africa three months before her death. He had planned to join her in Jersey. Eunice is no harm to nobody. Nobody. That's why we want justice for her, because I don't understand. So many unanswered questions here. We know this. Neighbors report seeing a man in dark clothing argue with June 4 at her driver's side window and then open fire. Detectives are also looking into cell phone data. Disagreements on the council and the global nature of her work with the church. By the way, the FBI is also helping out with the investigation.